Good day, fellas, and welcome to another custard game. Spawning in the teal as Jean d'Arc. It is going to be Joy Boy. And on the other side of the map, now who do we have here? We're going to be having the purple Jushi's Legacy. It is Aussie Drongo. Who is Aussie Drongo, you might ask? <laughs> Where do I start? Top YouTuber in the world. One of the best Conqueror players in the world. He is in my top five AoE4 commentators. Top five commentators playing the game. Top five commentators commentating the game. Number one YouTuber. And uh, the last time we've casted some of his games, he was cooking, right? Some olive oil in there. Right, he was in the kitchen, he was preparing some some cisterns and some there was some water connections, some aqueducts to the mills. Did not work out, right? Did not work out, which was a shocker to me at least. But today we have him on Jushi's legacy, and oh boy, am I excited. The map is going to be the Golden Pit, which is one of the newest maps into the map of the Sultan's Ascent DLC. Make sure to check it out if you haven't. Beautiful map. Let's get into it. Now, what I want to know is the Jean d'Arc hero unstoppable? Can it be stopped? Is it the ultimate weapon of this civilization? Is it the ultimate weapon of AoE 4? Does it need immediate nerfs or does it not? We're going to find out. We do see JD over here, Joy Boy, JB, and JD actually. Very nice. Um, going for that, going for that School of Cavalry, okay. He's gonna be edging up with School of Cavalry. No cock today for him. Maybe not, not quite hungry there. Uh, and, uh, Drongo in the right, Aussie Drongo. Will be going for that standard little sheep, and we do see three villagers coming out. And, yeah, that's gonna be Meditation Gardens right there. So he's going to be getting some wood, he's going to be getting some food, not opting to go for meditation gardens, maybe here, double stone, maybe here, gold, stone, wood, but he's going for the double berry bush plus a little bit of wood. Now this has to be some unique build happening right now, and I'm ready to see it. We do see three on gold. Eight on food, three aging up right now. And then they're going to be going on the gold, actually. So this might be the uh, Aussie Drongo's Shaolin Monk build rush. He has been, like I said, he hasn't been just cooking with Byzantines, he has been cooking with other civilizations as well. And I cannot wait to see how this one works out. And can Joy Boy stop the the drone, the drone go. We're gonna find out. School of Carry is gonna come in very slow. This build from Drongo is gonna come yeah. real fast. Oh, that's why he went for food, I guess, because he wants that juicy, juicy food for uh, the bald monks that are coming up. Yeah. Enemy scouting sees shit. I'm playing against Drongo. What is he going to do? He gives me a shout out, Beastie. Hello, Joy Boy. Nice to see you. And, uh,. Scroll of Cavalry finishing. Now, can Drongo defend the hero and the knight push that will be coming very, very soon? Five villagers on gold. A lot of villagers on food. He is getting that food. He's very close to the age up. Let's see it. 1,020 food, 510 gold. He forced drop offs so he can pick up that juicy gold. That juicy, juicy gold. And uh, he's going to be back and supervising. Very nice macro coming from Drongo. On the other side, we do see Woman at Arms coming out for JB, who will be going for some knights, perhaps a little wheelbarrow. Villagers are coming out with their pitchforks, uh, with the spears, sorry. He's going to be going for that boar. Scout is scouting again. And Shaolin Monks will be coming in a moment right now. 96 foot per minute. That's broken. 
There we go. The villagers are engaging. Stab, stab. He's going to get that boar. It's going to be very nice income. Shaolin Monastery goes down right here. And uh, can Joy Boy do something about it? That's what I want to know. Drongo has been dominating the ladder with his build. He has been dominating the ladder. Uh, with it. Picking up them relics. You know, pop, pop with the monks. Even I, I do look like Shaolin Monk right now a little bit with, without the headset. And Joy Boy is moving across the map. He sees the age up. He sees the little wall coming in from Drongo. By the way, this is Drongo. I know it's uh, I know the, the name doesn't say it's Drongo, but this is Drongo. We have multiple confirmations. Um, Shaolin Monk is coming now. How is Drongo going to deal with this knight and woman at arms that is coming in? Blocks Joy Boy. Blocks that wall off. And Drongo has to run a little bit here. Is he gonna turn back and wall that off? No, he will not. The hero is... The hero comes in, misses the Q. You cannot hit Drongo with that Q. He is... Have you watched Matrix? He's like Matrix. Q comes in, he goes... Like this. No damage taken. Enemy in shambles. Blocking off this tail. The first bald monk... Is on the way, taking some damage. Drongo micring it back. There is a stable as well. Not mining the gold right now, even though he made the stable. The scout runs in. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Goes down. What is Drongo cooking up right now? Moves away the villagers. Okay. Shaolin monks not in production. Nothing on the gold right now. Maybe panicking a little bit. Sheep are running out. He is running out on food. And, uh,. Drongo calm and collected. He knows exactly what he needs to do, and that's to build that house right there. Calm and collected. He doesn't want to overreact. He's letting the enemy cook a little bit. He has the situation under control now. Now, Joy Boy has never defeated Drongo before. If he manages to grab this win, this would be a huge upset in the video gaming community. Huge, huge upset. He's going to go for that. Sacred Star Capture. Uh, we do see Joyboy coming around. He's gonna get a quick wall here. He's gonna be fine. Okay, another quick wall coming in from Drongo. Oh my god, he's just all... Oh, 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 he gets in. He sneaks in through there. And Hero comes in, but Drongo with his League of Legends uh, expertise and League of Legends reactions, he dodges that Q like nobody's business. Look at him. He's making the knights run around. But where are the villagers gonna go? Where are... He's splitting the villagers. He's cooking right now. Uh, the enemy is running through. The villagers are going down. Q goes onto the villagers. What Drongo? What is Drongo going to do? How is he going to come back from this one? The villagers are going down. The hero is leveling. Drongo is idling right now. And the madman has done it. Wow. Wow, I've never seen that kind of engagement expertise that we just saw there from JB uh, right there against Drongo. Beautiful level gameplay. Now, this was a little bit of a short game, so we're going to cook up another one. I don't want to leave you guys, you know, uh, uh, just with that one. I know you guys love watching Drongo. Without saying, JB is one of the up-and-coming legendary players that we have in the scene, so... You know, I'm a bit surprised he took down Drongo, but at the same time, not really, right? Um, he is on the up and up, and he's probably going to be one of the, uh, you know, next uh, Core W's or, or you know, Voldemort's or Marine Lords, right? He's he's going to be up there anytime soon. If you can, you know what I say always? If you can take out Drongo, you can take out pretty much anyone. Good day, fellas. We don't need another good day, fellas, because it's the same video. We got Aussie Drongo. On his legendary Jushi's legacy. Spawning in the teal. Playing on the golden pit once again? Can he? Can he have a little bit more luck this game? Manage to push the opponent's army. And he is playing against... The pink ottoman. Called Suck My Piss Pipe. And he will be spawning here in the bottom left kind of area now this is a completely different matchup from what we've seen previously 
Um, now, I don't know much about uh, suck my piss pipe uh, in the pink, but I am sure if he can meet Drong on the ladder, probably one of the best players. If he is casting, probably one of the best casters as well. If he's doing YouTube, I would probably put him in the top five YouTubers as well. But I am ready for this legendary, legendary match right here. Drongo, this time around, going for that mill. Next to his town center, wants to be a little bit safe. Maybe not liking the idea of Ot Omen. I'll just call him Saki. Uh, maybe he doesn't like the idea of Saki coming in and, and, you know, killing his villagers. But going for that super fast mill, that's maybe going to drop off some gold. You know, maybe he's going to cook up the bold build even harder than the one previously. And... Uh, Again, Dronga has been one of the great innovators uh, of the builds, and I am sure that he will be going for that bold, bold uh, build monk once again, but this time we will see if the enemy will be able to prevent it. We do see military school coming out. Spearmen will be coming, uh, slowly aging up for the Ottoman. Now this matchup, uh, usually Jushi Legacy very good in the that later stages of the game, but... So is Ottoman recently. So is Ottoman recently. So we will see a lot of sheep for Drongo. Very good start. Very good sheep scouting. Look at this. This is perfect right there. Make sure he doesn't skip any sheep on this side of the map. He's going to go check this side. Now the enemy I think already went there. So won't find too too much. But overall pretty good amount. Let's go. He's got five sheep alive, probably like seven, eight on the ground. Good stuff. And we do see meditation gardens again coming on the berries plus berries. So this is something that Drongo has practiced. This is something that he aims for. This is his goal. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's cooking. And he's cooking berries today, once again. Now, I usually upload one Drongo game per video, but I feel like this one was, uh, the last one was a little bit short and I didn't want to leave you guys, you know, wanting more, so we decided to go for two. Four villagers on the Aja, maybe putting in another one because of that Spearman, but that Spearman has no idea. Suck my piss pipe is gonna go around, but that TC is in range. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Spearman getting dabbed on twice right there. All right. Now Scout is gonna... Oh my god. Okay, he has to be careful right there. You cannot make mistakes against one of the top casters in the world like that. If you make a mistake or two, Drongo snaps your neck just like that. He's gonna grab you and he's gonna push his advantage all the way to the bald monks and the W. Twin Minaret Padres coming in. Very nice position right here. Now, what is the auto chat going to do? His his wood is very far away. What the What is that wood like? Look at this wood line is so far away. Um Oh my god, one spearman goes down, Drongo baits him in and twists his nuts right there. So, wow, one Spearman goes down, that TC is in the range. Look at that. Oh! I mean, that inhuman reactions from Drongo. He, this guy cannot get hit. He does not take damage on his villagers. He's cute, cool as a cucumber right now. Kills the Spearman with a TC. Doesn't give a fuck. He's about to age up. What's up? You know what I mean? He doesn't care. Meanwhile, suck my piss pipe on the other side. Uh, he... Does have a couple of sheep here. Maybe, hopefully not looking to donate. The Spearman is coming around. Is Drongo going to react perfectly once again? Or is the Autochad going to do some damage? Beautiful move. Oh, and Drongo so slick. Did you notice that? Just a, just a smidge. Doesn't move all the villagers. Just moves once. Just a tiny smidge. And because he did that... The Spearman goes down once again. That is a 100% perfect KDA for Drongo right now. The bald men are coming right now from that Shaolin Monastery. Food is being gathered and Drongo is looking strong. Even more crisp than the last game. Now we do see some Sipa here trickling in slowly from the Auto Chad. He can make another military school in a moment. But what is his plan to take down Aussie right now? 
I am not sure. Does he stay in feudal? He is cooking up some eco upgrades. The bald Shaolin monks are coming and they're going to be looking for those relics to push his advantage a little bit. Chopping some trees right now. And uh, so far, I gotta say perfect gameplay from uh, perfect gameplay from Drongo. Here we go. Bald monk number one coming in and he will actually destroy. Look at this annihilation. This monk will absolutely butcher this spearman, by the way. I'm not even kidding. He will absolutely destroy it. Wow. And here we go. Sipahi waiting at the bottom, but Drongo knows that there would be a thing there. He even, I don't know if he saw it, but picks up the relic. He's carrying it home, runs out of food here, relocates to the berries. On the other side, we do have Sipahi. No second military school yet. He's going for a plus one ranged attack. He has zero archers, so that is an interesting option right there. Very, very, very interesting, actually. Maybe his Sipahi are going to start shooting arrows. I'm not sure. Did he see that monk? Let's see. He saw it. He's going in. Drongo, what is he going to do? Is he going to fight? Is he going to wallala? Is he going to just run back? He fights. And look at that. Look at that. Boom. 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 Look at that damage. Look at that DPS. Beautiful micro right here from Drongo. He's picking up the relic on the middle. The scout goes down and he is just destroying everything he touches. Turns into asses. Uh, ashes, I mean. He's going to be healing up a little bit. That monk will be going down, but he does have two relics in the thing. A little bit of idle time right here. A little bit of idle time on TC, but he's going to fix that in a moment. Again, sees it immediately. The Jiangnan Tower is coming up for that Song Dynasty. Barracks is coming up, perhaps for some spearmen. And so far, I gotta say, perfect game from Drongo. Losing that one monk, but it is what it is. We can't save them all. Now, spearmen right here. He will be met by Shaolin Monk. Cancels the barracks. Interesting enough, decides, no, I don't need that right now. Spearman is attacking the Shaolin Monk. Shaolin Monk responds, turns around. Pop! Spearman has to run. Sipah here coming in. Watch out. The bald monk is attacking from here. Is fighting. Is defending his fellow villagers. Barracks now comes up again. Spearman goes down. Beautiful gameplay. What do we see? Archer Rangers. Triple Archer Range coming up. And uh, Scout might go down. Drongo. A little bit of idle time. Fixes that immediately once again. Making Spearman. Wants to counter those Sipahi. Three relics. Coming in home. Why does it not say that he's carrying a relic? Plus one. Okay, love those walls. He's gonna prevent any further run bys coming in from there. There's no way that Pink will be getting there unless he gets in right now. And he does! Oh my god! Unlucky. Unlucky for Drongo. The Sipahi get in, but the Sipahi don't see the wall of law. He is trying to protect the village. He does not have a wall of law conversion. <laughs> He is pushing in. Spearman comes out. Beautiful. Walls off the top side. He has safe wood. Shaolin monks are bringing in the gold. And right now, Drongo has to be feeling pretty good. Spearman braces on that Sipahi. Dabs on him right there. And Drongo, once again, we've seen this strategy before where he delays the hardened spearman upgrade now decides to get it says you know what maybe i i, I maybe i do need it maybe the spearmen are kind of dying to the sipahi and the eco is idle a little bit not too much he's gonna go over here the walls might be broken and 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 ottoman just runs past the defenses of drongo spearman goes down where can he go next we see four relics being taken there's only one more the bald monk Perfect micro right there from Drogo. Jumps into the village. Protects that monk. He's gonna go for... He's gonna go for the... Comes out. Stabs that... Oh my god! Stabs the Sipahi and runs back in. Sipahi are coming in on this side. Drogo a little bit distracted. And suck my piss pipe. I am getting confirmation that this is Core. And that is his Smurf account right now. Core W, one of the greatest... Uh, FFA players in the world definitely into in, in my top five uh, and also we do have confirmation one of the Hall of Fame achievements he has defeated a player called Beastie Cutie in 
uh, 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 early 2022, I think it was around January in HRE Mirror. If I remember correctly, it was um, it was on that map with the water. I can't remember exactly, but what a great game that was. Uh, it was complete destruction. So just all around great player uh you know amazing gameplay and uh he is pushing right here and you see why he's one of the best nomad players once he gets in there's no getting him out of there you know what i mean he's like a mosquito right except you can't kill him he's one of the mosquitoes that goes around your ear and zzz, and you, you can't catch it so that's that's kind of core uh right now he's getting in there beautiful micro sipakis are running in Let's see that Archer Micro versus Zuganu. Picking off Zuganu. Picking off the second Zuganu, maybe? No, pulls back. Drongo trying to rewall, trying to secure this location a little bit, but he is out of food in a moment. These bears are dried up. What is he going to do next? Let's see. If anyone has the answer, it's Drongo. Gets another monk out. Maybe he's gonna decide to fight with the monks. Can use Body of Iron to reduce ranged incoming damage by up. Goes down and wow, wow, suck my piss pipe ends up taking it against Drongo. That is incredible upset. I watched these guys play over and over, and I think this is probably the first time that uh, our pink player has won. So, pretty, pretty big upset. But, like I said, uh, he is one of the the best up-and-coming players right now that we have in the world guys make sure to check out uh the ottoman player suck my piss pipe at twitch.tv slash core aoe and check out our second player teal again one of the best uh casters in the world youtubers dads players uh, people human beings and everything else uh, core is a little bit of Drong drongo's kryptonite i didn't want to say it i didn't want to say it but it is true Core is a little bit of a Drongo kryptonite, but that's how the cookie crumbles. You know, they met, it is what it is, and make sure to check out Aussie Drongo on the YouTube channel. He doesn't stream too much on Twitch, but he does upload the best YouTube content in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. This was Beastie. See you in the next one.